guys welcome back so today I decided I wanted to go ahead and play around with some new Juvia's Place products that I picked up from Ulta now I only got two items I got the Nubian 3 coral palette and I also picked up a shade of their foundation now I know this coral palette has been out for a little bit it's not that new but I was curious about it so I went ahead and picked it up now just in case you haven't seen it before this is what she looks like there's no mirror of course but the shades in here are beautiful and very different for Juvia's Place I think so I think they did a really good job creating this palette and so I had a lot of fun using it today also I picked up their foundation like I said I have the shade Burkina and I actually chose my shade from watching somebody online so I think I did a pretty decent job <laughs> picking a shade because that can be difficult online and sometimes even going into stores because the lighting is crazy so I think I got lucky this time anyway if you'd like to see my first impression thoughts and how I created this coral eye look and just overall face today stay tuned because it's coming up next guys okay so today I'm playing in these wonderful Juvia's Place products I'm gonna start out with this no problem prime essence and I'm just gonna kind of tap this in all over my face and let that soak in while I work on my eyes today this stuff is really nice I love how it makes my skin feel and it actually smells kind of good of course, I'm going in with my Vaseline Lip Therapy also. Lips a little crusty this morning, so <laughs> gotta get those in line. Now to set my eyelids today, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. This is a little sample that I got in my BoxyCharm, I think a long time ago, and I never use it, so I said I'll go ahead and use it to set my lid today, since I don't really feel like I need a bright white face. And to set that concealer in place, I'm going to use some of my e.l.f. Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to dust that all over my lids to give me a nice, smooth surface to work with today. To start out this look, I'm going to use this beautiful coral shade. It's the darker coral shade in the palette. I noticed there's no names on the shades which I was pretty surprised but I'm actually glad because sometimes the names <laughs> for Juvia's Place shadows can be a little difficult to pronounce but it's the darker coral shade in here it's a beautiful matte and it is really nicely pigmented I love how it started showing up on my lid without a white base I was very impressed nice and smooth next I'm going into the dark brown in the palette it's actually the only dark brown in this palette and I'm just using that to carve out my crease area and create the shape that I want for this look today as you can see I'm just creating a nice swoop on the outer portion of my lid but I'm making sure that that crease area is nice and deep for this cut crease that I'm going to create Now for my cut crease, you guys know I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm just using a flat shader brush to place that all over my lid and I'm also carving out that same swoop shape for this cut crease. And to start off the cut crease, I'm using the matte gray shade in the palette. And what I'm doing is I'm placing it down on the outer portion of my eyelid, but as you can see, I'm leaving a negative space because I wanna have a double cut crease for this look today. So I'm going in very carefully, making sure that I don't go all the way up to that line because I want to leave that negative space in between the gray and the brown. So I'm just carefully taking my time doing it. And I'm going to make sure and do that for the other shades on my lid as well. Next, I'm going into this silver metallic shade and I'm placing that right next to that gray and just kind of blending it into the outer corner of my eye. But I'm also not taking that all the way up as well. 
Next, I'm going into the dark coral shimmer shade and I'm placing that right next to that gray. And I'm just gently tapping that on my lid. Once again, making sure not to go all the way up to that crease that I created because I want to keep that negative space. Now to fill in that negative space, I'm going to use the lightest shimmer in the palette, which is this really light silver shimmer shade. And I'm taking a very thin detail brush and I'm just gently tapping that into that negative space on my lid. So I can have that extra detail with that shimmer shadow. And this is what we have so far, you guys. Now I'm going in with a beautiful coral eyeliner. I bought these liquid eyeliners from AliExpress. So they were very, very inexpensive. And I really like this pack because it has a lot of unique colors in it. And it allows me to be a little bit more creative with my looks. And I think that this pretty coral shade went perfect with this eye look. Now for the face, I'm going to start off using my Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is a really, really nice primer, you guys. I mean, it feels really good going on and it definitely blurs out your pores. So this is the foundation, you guys, the Juvia's Place Foundation. I do have the color Burkina. I'm starting out with just a simple glob, as you can see, not too much. From what I saw from other people, you don't need a lot of this foundation for coverage and I would definitely say that is the case. I'm glad that I didn't go in with a whole a lot to start off with. But my first thought when I put this foundation on is it is extremely matte, which you can see here. It is very matte and I don't typically mind a matte foundation. I actually like matte foundations. But this one is super duper matte. So if you are a dry girl, you might not like this foundation. Me, I actually like it. So I'm going on with just going in with just a little bit more around the areas where I have a lot of hyperpigmentation around my mouth and under my eyes just to make sure that they are totally covered. And I will say this foundation is full coverage. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I didn't really want to be super bright today, so I just went in with the color 420 Cocoa just to make sure that my dark circles are covered up. Blending that out just to also see how this color goes with this foundation. Now I'm going to gently set that with my Collab Loose Setting Powder, and I'm just using a soft, fluffy brush just to set that under my eyes. Since this foundation is so matte, I didn't want to use too, too much powder because I didn't want to look like the Sahara Desert today. <laughs> now I'm going in with my Morphe Glamour Bronze. You guys know I love this stuff and I'm just using that to bronze up my face today. As you can see, I'm just super duper Coco-licious <laughs> since I didn't highlight. I don't have a lot of definition on my face, but sometimes I just don't feel like having bright eyes. Now I'm using my Sephora Pro Face Palette, and you guys, I went in way too ham with this contour. Do you see that? I mean, it is so freaking pigmented. I have to remember to be super careful with this contour. So I just went over that with my bronzer a little bit, just to kind of tone that heavy contour down but I still feel like I really went in a little bit too ham with the contour, but it didn't look too bad. Now for blush today, I am using my Juvia's Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm just taking this gorgeous coral blush shade and it is Tau, I believe, T-A-U. And I wanted to use that color because I thought it would match really nicely with my eye look. I'm using my e.l.f. Modern Metal palette today to highlight with. And I wanted to go into this soft peach highlight 
because it's not a super blinding highlight it's more of a soft highlight and I really want it to just have something kind of soft today Now going back in to finish off my lower lash line, I'm taking that dark brown and I'm just kind of stamping that on my lower lash line and dragging it out just to kind of bring the colors from the top down to the bottom. And I'm smoking it out with that beautiful coral shade. And I'm also going to use a pencil eyeliner today. This is the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. And the shade on this is Popsicle. So I thought it was really pretty because it's actually a coral shade as well. Now you guys know I am working on this Pixie Mascara. At first I didn't really care for the applicator because it's that hard plastic type applicator. But the more I use it, it's actually growing on me. So I'm kind of liking it. I like how it separates my lashes and gives them a little lift. I also like the separate smaller brush for the lower lashes as well. Now I'm going into that super light silver shimmer again using that for my inner corner highlight and as you guys can see it is really popping. Now for my lips I'm going in with a pretty dark lip liner today because I want to create a coral lip but I don't want it to be super duper bright or looking crazy so I'm starting off with one of my ColourPop matte. This is what an ultra matte lip and this one is in extra toppings and for the center of my lip I'm going to use one of my matte flat velvet lipsticks from LA Girl and this one is in the color Sunset Sheet. Now to set this in place, I'm using my Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Illuminating Spray. And this is the final look, you guys. I like this palette. I don't think I've done a eye look this unique in quite a while. It really allowed me to be very creative. As far as the foundation goes, I actually like it, you guys. I like the way it looks. I like the finish. I love the color I chose and I don't really mind the matteness of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this look today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!